morning guys, I hope you're doing okay. Excuse the state of me, my postpartum hair loss is postpartum hair loss thing right now and it's just, it's what it is, but my hair's greasy so it's going up in the bum. Um, Hallie's just woke up from her first nap of the day, it is 11, 11 minutes past 11, oh, okay it's 12 minutes past 11, um, and I'm just about to make her a little bit of early lunch because we're trying to cut down on bottles. Right, so before Hallie gets too hungry, I'm going to pop something in the air fryer for her. Um, she has been loving these little fritters that I make for her. I think I've mentioned it a few times. But these are, I know Hallie, I'm doing it. Um, yeah, these are like um, grated up veg in like a little fritter batter essentially with like different spices and stuff and she loves it. Um, I've just literally broken that so that's fantastic. So our microwave broke recently, hence why I'm using the air fryer to reheat those. Um, these are frozen, so yeah, I just literally put them in the air fryer for five minutes and then by the time they come out, they're defrosted and they've got a nice little reheat to them, but there's not too much, it's like perfect. Anyway, um, I haven't been doing much this morning other than editing and stuff for YouTube. Still got breakfast out on the table from this morning for George. Had his high chair still a mess, so I need to clean that up before she can have her lunch, but she's all good clean down here. So I'm going to sort that. She's got like crumpet and God knows what in here. And I need to sort all of this. And then we can catch up. rice cakes and breadsticks to keep her going <laughs> until lunch is ready. So we've got a carrot and cumin fritter and then this one's a spinach and parmesan fritter I think. And when I tell you that these are easy it is literally just egg, flour and milk mixed in with whatever you want basically. So like I said I've grated up some carrot and put cumin in this one. I think cumin and cinnamon actually just to make it a little bit sweet for her. Um, and then that one is spinach and parmesan or like great it's not actual parmesan it's just like the cheaper version of parmesan um and i think yeah i didn't put any extra herbs or anything in that so i'm just gonna chop these up into like finger lengths and then give that to her on the high chair and that's basically like mainly what she's eating at the moment these fritter things because they're really easy to hold like for her lunches that's kind of like my go-to thing sometimes you do a little bit of peanut butter on toast with maybe banana or something but anything like solid that she can make up and put into her mouth is like an absolute winner. Anything on a spoon, not so much. Here you go, darling. Look at this. There's loads. So, they're not too warm. There you go. You can have whatever you like. You can have your rice cake if you want. There you go. Here you go. Just finished lunch, tidied up 
the kitchen and stuff, I mean, not massively, I haven't even washed up or anything, but I've just like picked up all of the food off the floor essentially, because wow. This is the thing, when your baby is like fully eating like three meals a day, you're cleaning the kitchen floor like three times a day, and I'm just like, I'm just so over it. Like, I really hate that part. Anyway, I thought now that's all sorted, it'd be a good chance for us to catch up on a few things. Um, so I've had a few like changes happen recently, all very positive I must say, um, to do with like Hallie's sleep and development and at least for now, like everything is a phase, isn't it? It's like my favourite saying in the world, but it's so true. Like even when you think you're, you've got everything sorted, you're smashing life, like it's, it's very good to remember. It's just a phase because it doesn't always, doesn't always stay as we know, but that's also a good thing to remember when you're going through a really crappy phase is that it is just a stage and time will pass and it won't always be like that. So we're in a good phase at the moment. Hallie has decided in the last two weeks, she's only woke up in the night three times. So out of 14 days, she's only done it three times, which is amazing. And like, I don't want to jinx it's the first time I've said that out loud, like other than to Ash, but like, I've not said that on social media or anything because I've been like paranoid that if I say something, it'll go back to normal. Um, but it's really coincided with her eating. Like you saw how she was eating, like, um, I don't know if I showed you much, but she was absolutely smashing through her food. Like she's all of a sudden just learned how to eat. And like, I know, obviously I know I've mentioned on here before that she was very late to like taking to food and there are still foods that she can't really figure out like with a spoon like she's not very good with that she doesn't like being fed she won't like open her mouth to be fed from a spoon um but she will pick up like finger foods and like bring that to her mouth so she's doing so well with her eating and it has very much coincided with her sleep so it might it could very easily be that you know, she was just really hungry because she's a big girl. Like, our Hallie is, she's in 12 to 18 months clothes, guys, and they don't even look big on her. Like, she is a big girl and she's only just turned nine months. Um, So, yeah, like, she is, you know, she's big for her age, it's fair to say. So, in terms of, like, food and milk, she's always needed that bit more. That's kind of why breastfeeding, like, I mean, there were many problems with breastfeeding for us, but one of the main things is she was just starving. So, like formula filled her up more or at least expressing milk so I knew that she was getting loads um like that was kind of working for us and we've spoke to the health visitor and stuff and she's not being like overfed or anything she is just hungry with her eating and stuff I feel like the reason that's got a lot better recently is because her motor skills have become a little bit better like her grabbing things and actually holding on to things and like using her finger a little bit using her thumbs a lot more like I don't know if you guys remember but she definitely had some issues with her hands and like she was she is still a little bit like she doesn't really know what she's doing a lot of the time her fingers are like really really long um like they're just really gangly and sort of I can imagine quite hard to maneuver for her it's just really amazing to watch like even two weeks ago a month ago we were like in such a different place and I know that like babies obviously develop like quite quickly around this age but I feel like when you've had like a few delays like we had um then yeah like when you notice these big differences it means like a massive amount and I know it's silly but like even in the moment you think oh it's never gonna happen and then it does and you're like oh my gosh like what was I worried about like I say she's nine months she sits she doesn't really roll she's trying to like rotate herself like when she's on her when we're doing tummy time and stuff she tries to like roll like she goes around like roll rotates herself like does a 360 she can't like move forwards yet um but when she's on her bum and she's sitting she sometimes does move backwards like uses her hands to, like push herself backwards not far um but it's definitely a star and like i say her eating is coming on really well which means her sleep has come on miles which to let me tell you i'm very happy about i still have one that wakes up in the night but at least it's not both of them ganging up on me anymore she did actually wake up last night for some milk but um i think that's because she didn't eat lunch very well like she didn't have a lot of lunch so i don't know she was obviously just hungry yeah it's what it is hallie is getting super chatty she's got so many teeth it's unreal how many teeth you got seven you got seven teeth Front four, bottom three. Basically, she's also been diagnosed with hypermobility, which again, I've spoken about before. She has hypermobility in her 
well in a lot of her joints but mainly her legs and her hands and wrists and stuff so it's just a little bit harder for her to maneuver those areas hence why it's harder for her to learn how to crawl and how to walk it will take her a lot longer to do those things but actually i found out recently from my mum that i actually didn't walk until i was 16 months which is slightly later than like your average walker i don't actually know what the average like age is that kids begin to walk but george started walking like a week after his first birthday like i feel like that's kind of average i know of some babies that started walking at nine months and <laughs> let me tell you that's definitely not going to be hallie um but yeah i was like 16 months apparently when i started walking so it just goes to show i'm pretty sure i had hypermobility like quite severely when i was younger as well and i still have a bit of hypermobility in my leg um so i have some issues with my leg at the moment and my physio told me that i've got hypermobility anyway so yeah hallie's doing really well bless her um we're just gonna have a little bit of playtime in the living room now um we've still got george's like castle up i don't know if i don't think i've shown this on here we got this on the um easter bank holiday weekend and it's been in our living room ever since it's the cardboard it's a bit squiffy at the moment but um it was way more pristine when we first got it it's like will come apart a little bit but this is the hobby craft cardboard cutout castle um, we've had to like try and duct tape this back together but um yeah so it literally comes in like all these different flat pack like sections and then you like fold them all together connect it together like this he's done so well and like we've played so many different games oh my gosh i've just realized it's like a rice cake there and it's in the sun that's just gonna melt i have no idea how old that is though how funny <laughs> i am also really surprised there's no toys in here because there has been like loads of toys in here over the last few weeks but yeah this was really fun it was only 10 pounds and they have loads of different ones they have like pirate ships and an ice cream shop um they've just got loads of different ones castle was the one we went for i think we'll probably go for a different one in the future because it was such a winner oh and yeah hallie said her first word which i'm absolutely fuming about because it was dada course does that count when they say dada it was like she said dada mama like that kind of thing before but it's always been in like a babbling sense so it's like mama 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 da, 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 like just making noises um but this time it was intentional like actually intentional because we play this game um when ash and i are in the same room i always like and i'm holding hallie or, or ash is dada. holding hallie dada yeah um then she says like whenever she looks at ash i'll say dada and then she'll immediately look at me and say i'll say mama and then she'll look back like she literally knows when to look like as soon as i say mama she's like and then as soon as i said dada she's like oh, that to daddy i said where's dada and she went dada and looked at ash it's me isn't it do you want to say mama 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 yes <laughs> Oh my goodness! I will never be able to explain to you how difficult I find vlogging when I'm with the kids because obviously I don't show their faces. Like that's the main, the main like thing. Um, why it makes it difficult because obviously my content is like surrounded around being a mum. Um, and obviously being a mum means you've got kids. And when the kids are around, which is basically all the time um yeah like it's just it just makes it tricky to like keep the faces out and all that kind of stuff it it, it also like interrupts with like where i would put the camera like so say if i wanted to just like show you like the whole house i just couldn't do that because the kids are just constantly moving and i don't know i personally don't know how to edit like their faces out like blur them out like effectively i can do it if they're like still but when are they still do you know what i mean um if they're constantly moving i'm like i don't know how to do that I'm sure there's a very like easy way of doing it but i just don't know how to do it yet and it's just tricky so i feel like sometimes i don't get like the content that i'd quite like to get like the very realistic like moments and things because i'm trying to keep their faces out of the shots and obviously their identity i don't want to, like share loads about them and stuff i know you guys know a lot about like their development and our daily routine and stuff but you don't know like personal especially with george like because he's a little bit older okay my baby's currently moving my camera great um especially with george and stuff obviously he is that bit older um and so like i don't want to you know i don't want him to have things on the internet that he's going to be like embarrassed about or whatever i mean obviously like he is a toddler i talk about his potty training and things like that but that won't be the case forever um but there are things that i'm just not 
I don't know if I'm willing to share. So yeah, it's just one of those things, like I, I never really know where that line is and it's a made up line and it kind of is up to me to draw it and I don't really know where I draw it. Like obviously I stopped showing their faces, that was a long, like a long time ago we made that decision. I think maybe George was like 18 months old when we made that decision um, and obviously like they've been like little you know their faces have been in like little bits and bobs but not really like only like the side of their face or anything like that it's not been like a full-on look at my baby his you know to be honest the main reason isn't like that like to not show their faces isn't about hiding their identity necessarily because anyone could like see me in a shop and be like oh that's what your kids look like like that's just what it is it's more about um like having footage of them on the internet i don't know i just i've seen some very scary things in the past about what can be done with you know faces and things like that and i just don't i just don't want my kids to have to handle that when they're not even like even aware that it's happening obviously like i get that what i do is like my kids are part of it and they don't technically consent to that and i do feel a like battle with that sometimes um yeah um my main thing is about being a mum and like the struggles that come with that and the realistic stuff that comes with being a mum but obviously being a mum which is basically my entire life by the way like it is my only personality i have nothing else to say um and i certainly don't have any other time to like be creating a different type of content um although i like talking about money and stuff like i don't have personally the time to plan all of that content out constantly like make really good high quality videos like think about exactly what i want to say constantly like i just wing this and it's very off the cuff which is why it comes across very natural because it, it genuinely is like i talk to you like i would talk to one of my best friends having a coffee like that is just what this is for me but yeah like obviously the kids are around i do talk about them i talk about like hallie's development i talk about george's potty training i talk about potentially his behavior and like some of the other issues he might be having i talk about that less um because that's sort of an unknown area for us at the moment like basically we suspect that george could have some additional needs in certain areas and we haven't really spoken about that at all because i don't really know how to approach it i also don't want to put stuff out there that he might potentially not want to have on the internet like one day and yeah if i wanted to be like completely straight down the line with that they wouldn't be on my channel at all um but it would make for some it, oh my gosh i thought hallie was gonna fall down it would make for some short vlogs uh if i'm totally honest because i am with them like all the time the only times that i'm not with one of the kids is when hallie's napping and george is at nursery she naps twice a day and in those twice a day i have to fit in my entire life like genuinely my entire life my editing filming if that's what i'm doing that day you know getting ready having a shower the washing like literally anything because the second at the moment the second i walk away from hallie hell breaks loose like she cries the house down like she's definitely got some sort of separation anxiety going on <laughs> to list all this stuff on Vinted so that I can get her some new clothes on Vinted. Um, that's my little system. My little system is I can't get her new clothes until I've sold her old clothes because otherwise it will just build up and also I can then get my little uh, Vinted balance increased to use that instead of real money. Um, yeah, that's basically what I've done ever since Hallie was born in terms of clothes for her. I have also ordered some bits on team you um i've never used team you before but i got sucked in i couldn't help it i've actually been offered like loads of brand partnerships with team you but i've always said no because i'm i'm just like i don't i don't know this world like it seems like a scam is it a scam i don't know but loads of my favorite creators have been like collaborating with them and i've seen like a million people use it like everyone uses it it seems so i just thought you know what i'm gonna use team you get a few bits for hallie for a holiday that we're going on in um august and uh, for george as well 
because he needs summer bits for his like next he's like current size like three to four months three to four months three to four years um and Hallie needs some for the size that she'll be in which would probably at this rate be 18 to 24 months so yeah I've just like been getting bits for them and that should be arriving at some point hopefully I'll be able to show you in this vlog um but yeah we'll see <laughs> To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, I just wanna make you stop. So it's eight o'clock, I've just got the kids to bed, although I think George is just waking up. He fell asleep on the sofa at like seven o'clock when I was putting Hallie in her bath and stuff. Um, and then I transferred him to his bed without a bath or anything because he hasn't got nursery, he hasn't got to get up in the morning like I was just like, I'll just give him a bath in the morning but he's just waking up now I'm gonna go see if he's okay He does this quite a lot, like growing pains and stuff. I'm just getting some alcohol. I think it's growing pains, like I assume it is. That's, he does it, like I say, quite a lot. He wakes up and just like really, really badly in pain. Oh, bless him. And he always says it's his legs. And I just don't really know what else it could be. If it isn't growing pains. Um, let me know if anyone else's kids have that at all. Cowpole usually does a trick. I don't know if it's like a placebo effect or, or if it he. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Anyway, over and out. I'm gonna give him some cowpole, give him some cuddles, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Hello guys. It's a couple of days later now, um, and I think the last time you saw me was when George had just woken up um, in the middle of the night. Well, I say middle of the night. It was like maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and he woke up and he had um, like leg pains, and he was just like, yeah, he wasn't feeling his best. It's fair to say, and yeah, like I was trying to say then, obviously I was trying to deal with him, so I wasn't gonna get too much into it, but essentially, like that's not abnormal for him at all. Um, normally it's like in the middle of the night, middle of the night, and I've like been asleep for a little while, and then he wakes up, has like either a night terror, or maybe wakes up complaining of leg pain, or, or, or just can't sleep, and it's just like not being naughty or anything, he's not even screaming, he's just like up, doing stuff and like wants to watch tv or wants to play and it's like 2am and you're like okay well this isn't ideal um so yeah that's just something that we kind of have dealt with for a long time to be honest on and off sometimes he's better than other times but there's usually at least once in the week that that happens and at its worst it's every single night um which is the kind of the phase that we're in at the moment anyway so i posted about it on instagram and i had so many amazing replies from so many people some professionals some other mums just like it was just so nice to have a little bit of solidarity because i feel like sometimes it's a really hard thing to talk about because you don't want to moan about things um too much online because you don't want to be ungrateful or anything like that but at the same time it's hard and if there are other people going through like a bit of sleep deprivation right now I feel you it's so hard it's so difficult and it's so hard to not get angry in the middle of the night when all you want to do is sleep but i know that it's not his fault it's like one of those like i want to help him as much as possible but i just don't know how to do it um so long story short um after a lot of research after a lot of talking to other people talking to the health visitor talking to the doctors um we've essentially decided that we're going to start giving george a magnesium supplement um supposedly magnesium is really good for sleep it's supposedly good for helping with people's attention if they've got like a bit of a deficit or sort of attention span things like that also just helping the body to relax a little bit which obviously in turn helps with the sleep and reducing like hyperactive kind of tendencies and things like that so i'm 
those are definitely areas that George could use a little bit of support in. So that's what we're gonna do. But like I say, it's Sunday. Hallie's just woke up from her nap. George and Ash are upstairs getting ready. Um, and then I think we're gonna go to Pets at Home because we just got a little, a few vouchers through the post. Um, because it's Molly's birthday this month, so we get like a few little like thirty percent off vouchers. So we're all gonna go to Pets at Home, pick out a few like little birthday presents for Molly, and also look at all the pets and and just all that kind of stuff. Um, George loves going there, so yeah, that's what our plan is for the day. Nothing too extreme. I feel like the weather's nice, but it could very easily turn. You know, like when it's in between, it could turn at any moment. So for like Pets at Home, we might go to Home Bargains, we might walk around, maybe go to the park, skate park or something. George is loving his scooter at the moment. So yeah, just a nice, chill family day. I think that's the plan. But yeah, I wanted to update you guys on that. And hopefully next time you see me, the magnesium should be on the way because we've ordered it. I've actually had, honestly, an insane amount, insane amount of comments and um, recommendations so since absolute hell last night. posting this. <laughs> um, so literally I've got 56 comments and genuinely about 80% of those are saying, they use magnesium and specifically magnesium from a specific brand called Mighty Kids, which is a really absorbable form of magnesium. So a lot of like supplements that we give our kids and like to myself and stuff, I've used them in the past. They don't have like the form of the specific vitamin that is absorbable by your body basically or like easily absorbable. So essentially the Mighty Kids one is essentially just a really good form of magnesium that is easily absorbed by the body and fingers crossed actually gets into the system and does its magic if it is going to help. I've heard really great things, I've had really great reviews so there's absolutely no harm in trying it and, and I just wanted to say if anyone else is um, going through something similar then there might be some help out there, who knows, we'll definitely keep you posted. But yeah we've just been doing a little bit of crafts this morning, just some fun bits, it's my mum's birthday coming up and um, We've been doing some birthday cards and things and George has been reading, you know that book from Julie Donaldson, it's called Paper Dolls, I think. Um, here you guys, The Paper Dolls, this one, this one, um, and he absolutely loves it because it's like, he loves the rhymes of the names of the paper dolls, if you haven't heard it, it's like Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with a bow and he loves saying that so he wanted to make his own ones we did this morning um, and they're all like him and his best friends Hallie and Molly <laughs> it's just super cute anyway we're gonna head to pets at home now and I will catch up with you a little bit later pets at home no pets at home not two pets we're going to pets at home now Why? did you get confused because I said that we're going to pets at home but we're going two pets at home. We haven't got two pets, we've got one pet. And we're going two pets at home, which is the place they sell all the bunny rabbits and the guinea we're pigs. We're getting a other one. No, we can look at them. We're not going to get another one. But we can uh, have a little look. We're going to get Molly some birthday presents. Yay! <laughs> we've had another night um wow so last night was intense um it's currently like six in the morning i think maybe quarter past six and ash has been up with hallie i've just woken up he's just gone to work and i have just come downstairs oh made myself a cup of tea and i'm trying to get myself revved up for the day because wow last night those kids <laughs> had me just up constantly they were tag teaming it guys it was just not fair it was a lot um so Hallie got up twice which actually isn't too bad but each time she got up she was up up she was she was quite ill last night she seems totally fine now saying dada um she seems totally fine now like 
but last night she was like really really hot she had a temperature then she was cold um but she still had her temperature um which was worrying but obviously i then gave her a little bit of cowpole and that brought the temperature straight down um she's been a little bit off her milk and her food so i wasn't really sure what that was but um like i say this morning she seems totally fine i'll take her temperature in a minute but she genuinely seems like happy she doesn't look sick and she doesn't like she just looked really sick and like out yeah i just don't really know what that was um maybe she was just like teething or it was like a 24 hour thing i have no idea but um she seems fine now let's just see how today goes but last night she was it was up a little bit um struggling with that and then george um was also up i think where he heard her crying i don't really know he generally like i was trying it to explain does get up himself anyway um he's been getting up screaming in the middle of the night um for <laughs> as long as i can remember to be honest um bless him he's he's just inconsolable sometimes and i just don't know really what to do however like i said yesterday i think we're gonna try um to offer him a magnesium supplement we found a really good um supplement brand called mighty kids um and it's like a mum that runs it who whose son um needed to up their magnesium and so she needed a really um like absorbable form of magnesium and i think also like they do like vitamin c and like a multivitamin and i think it's called like liposomal or something like that i'm probably saying that wrong it's a really absorbable form of it and it just means the levels of that that's actually going to be absorbed into the body is actually going to happen so fingers crossed that works obviously that hasn't arrived yet so last night was a bit of a oh another night oh my gosh i can't tell you how tired i am right now anyway george is actually at nursery this morning i'm gonna have my cup of tea with hallie until he gets up i'm surprised he didn't get up but i kind of snuck out of my bed because he's hello darling you okay anyway oh i'm gonna have my cup of tea change hallie's nappy dada she just doesn't stop saying that i love it um change hallie's nappy and see if she wants any more bottle but she's had like four like three or four ounces um i don't think she's gonna have any more she's just been going like she's just been having like half her bottles over the last 24 hours since she was sick i say sick she wasn't like being sick sick she was just like yeah temperature the standard like oh my baby's not well like very clingy temperature just crying a lot whining that kind of stuff um and i'm not really sure it might have just been teething it might just be a 24 hour thing don't know i don't know um anyway yeah i'm gonna sort her nappy out and i and i will catch up with you after <laughs> anyway yesterday was molly's birthday molly's our dog and she had some vouchers come through <laughs> for her birthday from pets at home so we went and um we just had a little look around the shop and just got her a few bits got some toys got some treats um a kong all that kind of stuff um and then we went out for a really nice lovely walk um as a family it was so nice i didn't pick up the cam i didn't pick up my phone I don't think i took my phone to get pick up my camera like it was just a lovely day obviously we've had our challenges like yes it was a lovely day but george was you know here there everywhere and there were some things he was doing that potentially we didn't want him to do but all in all we had a lovely day and um yeah i just i just love days like that sometimes on the weekend because obviously ash works like fairly you know long hours he's usually out of the house by like half five ish today is a little bit later but um like 10 past six not exactly you know late um <laughs> and he's normally back at around dinner time which is obviously when we're like busy with the kids and stuff like sorting them before bed the weekends are really the only time he has anything like he has any time to get anything done um and so like it's often just the weekends are just often full of jobs you know like adult jobs general jobs that you just have to do like go to the tip i don't know like there's always something to do in the garden there's always something to do in the cars there's always something like in the house that he's doing like here they're everywhere admin jobs like life insurance or banks or like all the boring mundane adult stuff that he hasn't had the chance to do during the week or whatever i guess most of my adult more boring mundane stuff i get done in the week um around the kids because i'm not working that is my 
job essentially like to keep the house running and to keep everything you know ticking over obviously looking after the kids on top of that so it's like you know normally we don't really sometimes we don't have the chance to go out and do things like sometimes i'll take the kids out and do something i'll take george out or he'll take george out we don't often do things like as a whole family and this weekend we spent the whole weekend doing that um which was so nice he was supposed to be working but it got cancelled last minute um and i don't know like it just and also like we had our first glimmer of summer um so like it was sunny most of those like both of those days saturday and sunday we were in the garden all day we weren't in the, li- in the living room or in the kitchen really like we were outside in the garden playing like george got this archery set from home bargains um and he was actually really good at it and he really liked it um so we were doing that blind bubbles just got like the picnic blanket out and had hallie out on the mat outside on the grass and george and i were just like running around we were playing football a little bit playing tag and it means that the house is less of an absolute cesspit so i don't have to do loads of tidying up on a monday which is usually the case after a weekend normally the house is just an absolute it's just a, like such a mess because we've spent the whole weekend obviously at home with the kids or like in and out doing activities you don't tidy up completely but that's not the case this week so happy days if i could just get more than four hours sleep then my day would be made <laughs> I'm so going to take back what I said about Hallie not being ill anymore because she's definitely still a little bit ill, bless her. Um, I'm just packing George's bag for nursery and then we're going to go, but Hallie will not be put down, so this is going to be a one-handed job. So that's the one that we're doing. Yeah. All right, sounds like a good plan. Let's turn the light on then. You can do it without me. So you turn the TV off. <laughs> She's not even due a nap yet, but she was so tired. I take back what I said this morning about her being totally fine now. Like, she was fine when she woke up. She was a bit off her milk. She didn't have any of her crumpet that was still, like, all out on her tray. She had any breakfast and, like, a tiny bit of her milk. And then she was just so tired and so flaky. And then I took her temperature and she still has a bit of a fever. Nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday. It was, like, 39.5 yesterday. Um, but today it's gone a lot further down. She hasn't had any cow pot this morning, but she's gone straight off to sleep. So hopefully she just needs to like sleep it off and it'll be fine. It's just something that her body's fighting off. So yeah, we dropped George off at nursery and I'm so gutted because it was the first nursery run that we had. 
where Hallie has officially grown out of the doula car seat and oh my gosh I actually have loved that doula car seat so much if you don't know what it is I'm sure you do it's a buggy car seat kind of thing so it's like a car seat with wheels and basically that means when we leave the house we put Hallie into the car seat with the wheels up we roll her to the car like we have a little walk to our car because we haven't got a drive or anything we have to walk down to where the parking is so i've got all the bags george is walking along he's holding the buggy like we're walking along it's really it's a lot easier than it is if you're carrying a baby as well as carrying the bags as well as trying to do all navigate with george like if george is having a moment and needs a bit of help i could just put the brake on the car seat buggy thing and like deal with him whereas now no 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 not so much so this weekend first time I was like look she is grown out of that that's not safe anymore it only goes up to like a certain amount of kilos she's like coming up to the weight where it says like this is not suitable for that age anymore so yeah she's grown out of it now we're back to the normal life of having a baby and a toddler where you carry the baby and deal with the toddler and it's just like it's a whole thing and normally that buggy or car seat whatever you want to call it the doona has come in so handy for specifically the nursery runs and then running errands like that's the main thing that i use it for going into nursery like you obviously just get the car seat out flip the wheels out roll 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 bob's your uncle it's not for like long periods of time but it's like if you pop into tesco if you're popping to do some vintage parcels popping in to get some petrol if you don't have pet pump all that jazz um so all of those tasks are just going to be a little bit harder now and if hallie falls asleep in the car there's just zero chance of transferring her into the court so that's just another thing although she's only on two naps a day now so that shouldn't be too much of an issue if i time the day correctly but we all know that that doesn't always happen as much as we want it to yeah times don't don't just always go to plan like today she's not due her nap until later but she's asleep so is, is what it is she was falling asleep in the car as well and i was going hallie hallie i like, tried to make her not fall asleep um, because i was like if she fell asleep there then i didn't know if i was going to be able to get her back down to sleep when i got back in the house so i was just like trying to keep her awake and then popped her down in the court and thankfully thankfully she just went pretty much straight down she kind of like was a bit like annoyed that i put her down but then as soon as she like put her head into her court she fell asleep so i'm having myself a coffee and then mm, I've got a couple of like brand jobs and stuff to do. I've got HelloFresh, some stories to do um, and all that kind of stuff as well. Obviously, I love HelloFresh anyway. Like this is not an ad. I'm not doing an ad for HelloFresh on YouTube at the moment, but I use HelloFresh every day, literally every day. Um, and anyone that's watched my videos for the last two years will know that I'm a HelloFresh fiend. Like the fact that they even pay me is just hilarious because I would talk about them anyway. But anyway, don't tell them that um but that's what i've got to do today i've got to do some stories for them send them off for approval i've got to um send some vintage parcels i was supposed to do that on the way back from nursery but um i knew that hallie was really tired so i was like right i'll do that when she's awake and we have a little bit more time um and yeah just finish a few things off i think actually the last time i spoke to you like a couple of days ago maybe um or a few days ago I was putting those vintage parcels up on Vinted and they've all been sold. Like, they literally, someone, it was so funny, I was, like, listing them. I hadn't even posted about it or anything. Obviously, someone that follows me on Vinted, maybe, um, saw that I was posting and they literally bulk bought pretty much everything. I think I've got, like, one romper left on there and probably by the time this goes up, that'll be gone. Um, it's just funny. Like, I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't really think that it would go that fast because, obviously a lot of the clothes that i get for hallie they were all hallie's clothes um all the clothes that i get for hallie tend to be second hand already from vinted i also said that um i had a team new parcel coming for the kids and if that comes in the next couple of days then i'll be able to show you in this vlog i kind of hope that i can because i want to do like a nice little review maybe i'll do that in like a separate sit down video maybe like a team new review like not sponsored like absolutely is it a scam is it a load of rubbish or is it actually decent I mean, I feel like it's probably one of those things where it's like hit or miss, like some things are probably a bit rubbish and some things are probably all right. Um, I've used brands like Pat Pat before and I'm pretty sure it's like the same. I've never ordered from Sheen or anywhere like that. I don't know if any of you guys have, let me know, but, um, or again, Team You. And I know there's some sort of like game or link thing that you can do where you like put the link up and if people click on it, then you get money and I would get money. I don't know how to do that. I'll figure it out and if we can do that then let's all make a little bit of cash but <laughs> for now i'm just going to test out if it's any good and then if it is 
then maybe we can start playing the TV game or whatever. Oh yeah, excuse the mess, but we've also decided to move the table a little bit. So the table was here before this area, and we just found that we was like walking around it loads, and it was just really annoying. So this is just the Duna carpet stuff that I'm cleaning, so I'm trying to sell it. Um, so ignore that. But yeah, it kind of feels like a much bigger space now we've got it there. We're just trialing it. We're not entirely sure if it's going to work, but we can kind of get through this bit. And if we wanted to go from here straight to the fridge, which is there, like that's not too much of an issue. Um, and generally, if you go into the fridge, you're prepping something over in that area. So it seems to work pretty well so far. But um, yeah, we're just trialing this being the little layout of the kitchen for now. Anyway, yeah, after I've had my coffee, I'm gonna tidy up the sides a little bit, do a little bit of content, and then Hallie will probably be up. She's actually um, just moving now. But she's not crying, she's just sort of moving around a little bit. I don't know if she's just gonna doze back off. But if she gets up, she gets up, it is what it is. If she's poorly, then she's poorly, and Content will have to wait, we can just have some snuggles to be honest, they're my kind of, they're my favourite days anyway. As I said that, she fell back asleep. <laughs> okay, Hallie has um, woken up and had her bottle, it's had a little bit more, she had six ounces. Um, but you want lots of cuddles, she's so snotty, bless her. She's got cheeks for days, like they're so good. <laughs> It's so pink, and I think she's teething. I think she's just got she's just got like a thirty eight point five degree temperature, and she's just like under the weather. I'm pretty sure it's a teething fever, but it also could be something else. Um, so I'm just going to put on her, but she is also pulling at her ear a little bit, so she might have a little bit of an earache. Um, but anyway, yeah, we've just come onto the sofa. Hello, darling. Haven't we? We've come onto the sofa. She was laying on my chest, and then as soon as I like, picked the camera up, she didn't like that. So, um, I think we're just gonna have some cuddles, we're gonna chill out, and I think I'm gonna leave the vlog there. I'm pretty sure the last vlog, or the one before that, we were sick in, and uh, look, looks like looks like we're gonna be sick again, or at least one of us is. Hey. The life of being a mum. I feel like that is just... You have kids under the age of five. <laughs> You're going to be sick all the time, basically. At least someone in the house is sick at all times, right? But yeah, bless her. Oh, happy bunny. So I'm going to just focus on her today and uh, leave everything there. So thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It's been a little bit all over the place, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want to see anything else in particular. I promise you I'll show you the team you stuff in the next vlog. Um, but for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.